Hello guys, we're gonna do a, like a small tutorial today. We're gonna learn how to make a video touch homepage like this. It's actually not that complicated. Let's start with explaining what actually the website is about. It has a logo, menu, and login element. This is a mosaic view, list videos element. Then uh, we have the grid view, we have a sidebar, an advertising element, this is a big post, and these are thumbnail view, articles or videos. This is our footer, we have the image element or the logo element, text element, widget, Twitter widget, Flickr widget, social icons, tags, and the uh, Facebook like. Well, so here is a text element as well. So, let's uh, start with uh, explaining how Video Touch actually works. You have a main like header, which is used everywhere. Let's see where it is in the admin. So this is the page that you'll get in your admin area, in your dashboard. Here is the default or global header. So what we actually want is this is the header that will be used all over your website, but you can disable it if you don't need it and create uh, inline headers of your page. Well, I'll explain that in a moment. So uh, now, as you can see, my header has a logo element, a menu element, and a user login element. It's like, it has columns, rows, so it's not that complicated. Here is the global footer, and these are the theme options. You, you can navigate through them and check what they do. If you have questions about them, don't hesitate to ask them on our help desk. So, First of all, thank you for watching this. Let's start creating the homepage. Let's do a new homepage. So we will create a test homepage. What we actually want to do is toggle the layout builder. So here we go. This is where is located your workspace. You can disable the global header, global footer or the breadcrumbs on your page so nothing very complicated here we'll start like with the header as you saw the header is set globally so this is the header that I used all over my website the logo, the menu and the user login you saw that like here so it's you can set everything there now let's create the bottom part or the content part of the page. So we have a mosaic view, expanded row. Let's create that. Let's add a new row. So here is your row, your line. Okay. We add a new column. We need the column to be like 12, 12, 12 out of 12, 12. And we create a new element. We edit this item and we just select this videos. Select our categories. So you select whatever category you want to show. Show only featured. This shows like videos that was were selected as featured, like here. If you wanna just showcase some specific videos that you have, you can make them featured and then use them there and showcase them there. So I don't want to show only the feature. Uh, this this option here makes uh, this buttons like if you play, press on the play button, your video will open in your model window. We don't actually recommend that option because it loads the website a bit more than it should. So 
uh, I'd recommend sticking with the simple version of going to a single page. So, exclude post IDs. What I, this actually means that you can exclude some posts from showing here. So, let's say we have like 20 posts or 20 video posts and I want to exclude like two or three of them. I just write down that their IDs separated by commas. So, that's kind of it. Exclude number of first posts. What this actually means that you can exclude like uh, let's say you're showing latest 15 videos and you want to exclude the first three this means that these three like these three items will be excluded from from your website this is mostly used when you have like a big big video here and you want to continue showing your posts or videos below and you don't want them to repeat if you have the first three of them on the top and then you go you need them, the other ones on your bottom so that's a very useful actually very useful option we don't need it now so let's go this is a mosaic view so we have selected the list videos element we're going to select mosaic view here we're gonna select how we do you want our posts we can have it rectangles or square we have rectangles here, so we're going to stick with them. We have two rows, you can have three if you want to, so that's for you to choose. I'd stick with two since on smaller screens your mosaic will cover most of the, the screen, so I wouldn't really recommend that. Now, uh, we need scroll. If you want this bar here, we, we just stick with scroll effects to scroll, we can fade the in to your choice if you want add or remove gutter between posts what this actually means that you can set these posts to be sticked to each other we have small gutter here so we're gonna add it with gutter you can order them by date, views, likes or comments and I'm gonna do descending so that's kind of it. Let's publish our page and see what we get there. So that is kind of it. As you can see that the posts are centered and are not starting from the from the left part of the screen. We just need to make our row expanded or like this. This means actually that your content will start from the left part of your screen to the right part and you'll get like the content like full like it is on the demo. Let's see what we get now. Let's refresh the page. Here we go. I don't have enough posts here on, on my local website so actually you get the same thing that we get on the demo here. That's kind of it. We'll have to disable our breadcrumbs. We don't actually need them here. Now let's go see if this works. Yep, we got rid of them. Now, this is our mosaic view. These are our video posts that we have. There are likes. If you can disable them if you don't want them. Okay, this is our demo. And this is our local website that we are building now. Now, let's go and build the other parts of the website. We used this row and we expanded it, so the next content is kind of contained to the center of the website. What we need to do now is create another row. And as you can see, this is like delimited in two parts. This is the first part and this is the sidebar, so we'll have to build that part. What we actually need to do is add our columns, like here. And we just need to change the places, like this. We get the different parts. I'll make them a bit smaller, the sidebar a bit smaller, since I think on our demo it's the small version. You can have the big one if you want to. Now, 
as you can see, we have a title here. So we're going to do and create a title. Let's add it. We have a title element. We can select an icon. We don't have an icon on our demo. So let's say animation. And there's our subtitle here. I think we have an H3 here. So that will be enough, big enough for us. Just the title line left, so it's okay. As you can see, we have a space between these elements, so we're gonna, gonna need to add a, a spacer. We're gonna need like this is a spacer element. No, it's okay. I think this will be like fine. It's high 20 pixels. That's okay. And then let's check the demo. This is a grid view, actually. So we're gonna have grid view three columns. We're gonna go again, like add our elements, list videos again, select our categories, whatever you want to show. Again, I explain what these options do. We have a grid view, we have a normal view, we don't have a carousel, or we don't need masonry here, so it's gonna be okay. Now we will need tile below. As you can see here, title the title is below the image, so that's cool. Then show me in a way. Yes, we have meta, like we have a date and likes and play. That is the main metadata. And then we select our column. So it's three columns here set by default. So that's okay with us. How many posts to extract? That actually means that you will get. We have three posts here. You can have like six posts if you want to, but they'll show like three, and then the other three with the other button. Since we selected three, three items per, per, per row, so I'll stick with three here. We don't need related posts. Related posts will only show below, like you, if you need them. Uh, it's your choice. Again, we we'll order them by date. Descending, we don't need any special effects, or we actually have some special effects here. Let's add them here as well. So this is the scale effect, and we don't need pagination, so that's okay. Let's see what we got now. Let's test our local homepage and see what we get. So this is our mosaic view, and this is our, this is our grid view items. As you can see, we have no spacing between these, these elements, like the mosaic is almost state to, to, to this part so we're gonna have to either add a, a small like a spacer here maybe but i'll stick with the, the other option we have the margin i think this is the margin we'll have like i don't know 50 pixels margin bottom let's update and see what we get so as you can see we got the margin here so they're not like sticked to another we have our grid view articles or our videos, let's say. Now, let's see what we got below. This is our advertising element. I'll, I'll use an image, I think, but I don't know. You, you can use whatever you want. You can use an image, you can use like advertising AdSense scripts or anything you want. So basically what you need to do is add a spacer between these elements and the other ones and just Go with it. I'm not gonna add them on the demo. You can just simply add the advertising element from here. I'll show you. Just let me find it. We have a short code, and there is there should be an advertising element. Here it is. You just insert your code here. So and you you have to go. If you want to use an image, you can just select your image and upload it or use it from your library and set an URL for it. Set it retina or not. But remember that retina image where will compress it two times, so it's up to you. What I'm actually gonna do now is create another element. We have another title here and a big post with half image, half content. Let's see. So we'll need a spacer element so that we delimit this part 
this from this. So we'll have a space over here.